Believe me when I say that when I had to pick a topic for the Eagles film room this week, it was a monumentally difficult decision. Where do you even begin in that train wreck of a loss to the Dallas Cowboys? Do you look at the secondary? Do you look at the defense again? Do we turn our attention to the offense or players and faults that we've already highlighted? Instead, I decided to turn my eyes to something that I think went massively overlooked in that game, and that was the debut of first round selection Andre Dillard. Now, the Washington State product technically made his first real appearance for the Eagles filling in for Jason Peters against the Minnesota Vikings, but this was his first start and it came in a big time situation. 3-3, three and three, division on the line against the Dallas Cowboys in Jerry World and you're facing an array of pass rushers that can get home to the quarterback with ease. This was by no means an easy task and I was very intrigued to see how Andre Dillard fared and the results were very, very surprising. And on that note, this is another episode of Eagles Film Room. Before we get started though guys, as always it will be amazing if you could hit that subscribe button and join our Philadelphia sports fan community. We would love for you to be a part of it and if this video reaches 200 likes, we will give away a hoodie to a random commenter. So drop your opinions down below on Andre Dillard and leave a like and you may just win yourself a PSN season hoodie. And of course, you can get daily content from myself and all of our writers over at phillysportsnetwork.com. I want to start off with a couple of plays that really do highlight Dillard's talent that will never go noticed because of the outcome of the play. Now the Eagles here are inside the red zone, they're down plenty of scores, it's in the fourth quarter and I want to highlight Zach Ertz because he here has to adjust to his quarterback, runs back across the field and Wentz doesn't deliver the ball right here, instead waits, hangs on, steps up further in the pocket into traffic and that gives the defender time to knock that ball out of harm's way. Now what did Dillard do on this play and why am I focusing on an incomplete pass well this is going to be the answer Andre Dillard here lines up at left tackle this is who we're looking at for today's video his main opponent for today was Robert Quinn a veteran defensive end who now has six sacks on the year so it's a tough opponent to come up against and just watch Dillard's technique on this he leaps out of his stance keeps his hands patient constantly resets his feet straight back and lifts his hands underneath and at this stage the defensive end notices went scrambling rips away from Dillard but the ball's got to come out because he can lead a into open space but he waits holds on and that ball falls incomplete and to me if that was complete we'd be talking all day about that block because that was a fantastic effort from a left tackle making his first ever NFL start there's another example here he's going to be used on a trap block so they're going to pull him across the line of scrimmage pick up a defensive tackle while Brandon Brooks gets to the second level and he does a thunderous job of shoving the defensive tackle inside and look at the hole it creates Miles Sanders totally oblivious to it focuses on what's going on outside and that was a huge chunk play ripped away but a great assertive block there by Andre Dillard here's another one now this was that awful Nelson Aguilar whiff that I'm sure has been criticized over and over but Dillard's hustle he actually loses this block but by the time the ball comes out his hustle that extra push he gave earlier on in that snap bought just enough time for Carson Wentz to get that ball out I don't want to talk about the rest of the play I think it's safe for all of our sanity that we don't but even here on another play that was a bad one for the Eagles Carson Wentz fumbles but just look at how Andre Dillard runs the ring and pushes Quinn to the ground. He gets beaten early on. There's no denying that one. He comes out of his stance but leaves himself open. Doesn't deliver an accurate punch. That was a concern coming out of college. That his hand placement did need a lot of work. And when you slow it down, notice where these hands go. He allows Quinn to just wrap around. And here, he's just leaning. There's no leverage. He's leaning into the defensive end, reliant on his positioning. But he recovers well. And that raw athleticism, that lateral agility allows him to recover and and push him to the ground. There's another fine example of that agility here where Wentz is actually able to scramble because Dillard's athleticism again keeps him in the play. And the game I want to liken this to is the 2017 NFC Championship game where Vitae was getting help all day long. This didn't happen with Andre Dillard. He was left one-on-one -on -one with Demarcus Lawrence, with Robert Quinn and we see him burst out of his stance. He's first off the ball in a game where it's silent count, you're relying on the centre, there's a lot of crowd noise and he's driving through. Yes, he's body positioning was bad he opened himself up but he finished the play he played all the way through and gave just enough to allow Wentz 
to get out and make a scramble. Oh, there were no massive errors, there were a couple of things to work on. Play recognition is one of them. You can see why the Cowboys would want to bully Andre Dillard here. They pull over a linebacker. Dillard's a bit late to realise, but even there, I don't think that's his fault. I think Dillard has reacted well. It's not an instinctive play, it's a reactive one, and he drives the linebacker out of harm's way. Now, I'm going to keep a circle here on where Wentz moved into pressure. There's a throwing lane where Wentz originally was, and if Wentz had stayed there, Dillard's block would have been considered great. The fact that Wentz moved into it is going to take that away from him and probably go down as a pressure. Lining up against Demarcus Lawrence is never an easy task. He's on the outside shoulder. Lawrence is going to cut inwards. Dillard's a little bit slow with his step, but look at the leverage he's sustained here. That's much better. Straight back, arms out, pulls him in and rips him to the ground. Great hustle there from Andre Dillard, who is being bullied with hand movement. He's not having any of it. And when Robert Quinn tries the same thing, because he is so quick off the ball, look at the distance now that Quinn has to cover. If he's going to bend the edge, he has to push all the way around the outside. And even if Dillard's technically raw, because he's got that elite first step, he can just push back into the plate and keep himself within arm's reach for a fraction of a second longer, which as we all know in the NFL can be the difference between a sack and a completed pass. Now here he's almost been ripped under and with one arm keeps the defensive end at bay. That is so hard to do, but that functional strength of Andre Dillard now beginning to show it said. This was a game where, if I'm honest, there were maybe two pressures and a sack he gave up. This was one of them, and if you compare this to how Lane Johnson plays, what's basically an identical look mirrored on the other side, Dillard hunches his back over and when he gets ball rushed here, Lane Johnson's got that straight back and a firm base. Dillard off his feet, he can't get his feet reset, and as a result just gets thrown into the quarterback. But it only happened once. Lane Johnson and Jason Kelly Chelsea veterans, considered some of the best at their position, were beaten more frequently. And I'm not here saying Andre Dillard should be the starting left tackle, but he has at least given you some sort of confidence. Like, look at the hand placement here. He gets ball rushed again, his body gets thrown off guard, but he still keeps himself in the play and buys just enough time against Robert Quinn for Carson Wentz to get this ball out to a check down. And it's the hustle, it's the willingness to stay, to keep adjusting, to keep resetting his feet. He never gets blown out of plays and we saw that from several other Eagles offensive linemen against the Cowboys. It's a small sample size I know and against the Vikings this was a bit of a different discussion but he showed plenty of promise. There were improvements. Now look at this here. Because of that elite first step Robert Quinn has to bend further outside. That's another example of Dillard's first step really contributing to keeping him in the play and allowing him to recover in these instances. He gets met with a flurry of pass rush moves here. He's able to do just enough to reset. Again taking a good first step. We slow it down and just watch the footwork out of his stance. It slides inside. There's a lot of hand movement going on. He keeps his head up. Nice firm base. Always moving his feet. That's all he's got to do. Wentz can then roll outside, deliver the strike that he needs to and that job is a good and that is perfect nearly from Andre Dillard in this game. I think the main improvement for him moving forward is going to have to be on ball rushes because you give him an array of pass rushing moves. Demarcus Lawrence tries to spin here. He log blocks it perfectly. Clogs the lane. Keeps Keeps him stagnant. That's borderline perfect coverage on yet another blown play by the Eagles. Look at that. Just holds it so well. Keeps that firm base. But on ball rushes, he has his tendency to lean into the block, to outstretch his back. He doesn't sink his hips fast enough. It's evidenced here, but on plays like this where they're trying to drive and bend around the edge, he works his way back into them. On ball rushes where those hands are on his chest driving him into the quarterback, he doesn't get so lucky. And that's only going to come with time. But for a player that many consider to be a project left tackle that had all the fundamentals but needed to work on the technicalities this is a really really impressive debut there's very little to be upset about here with Andre Dillon and in a game where the rest of the Eagles fell apart I'd argue that Carson Wentz regressed throughout the game it was disappointing to see him leave some plays on the table the receivers were dreadful plays like this where he's just upending number 95 are outstanding hustle start to finish whistle to whistle Andre Dillard was one of the only players playing with that sense of raw passion and drive that this team has somehow become renowned for but he's lacking in every other aspect of the game right now. I'm extremely impressed with what I saw from the Washington State product and I want to end on this play because it's frankly outstanding. He has to deal with a swim move from Demarcus Lawrence and a stunt and he does it perfectly. Look at that. He keeps that pocket absolutely clean for Wentz so I know goes the other way so he never really sees what's going on here but that's great awareness. He keeps his head up. Again, a firm base. The footwork working well for him. This was against one of the league's premier pass rushers.
rushes. Now, did he struggle against Everson Griffin and Danielle Hunter? Yes, a little bit, but that was expected. In his first start, he seemed way more prepared, way more confident, and in a game where the crowd noise is an absolute raucous, you've got a silent count you're dealing with, you're reliant on the center. He wasn't flagged for offensive holding. He wasn't flagged for offensive pass interference. He wasn't flagged for offsides or false start. This was a brilliantly composed debut by Andre Dillard, and in the rest of the week, where it is turmoil, it's upset, it's unrest and stress. Just be happy that, you know what, if we're going to criticise draft picks and an inability to draft or develop picks, Andre Dillard very early on is showing the signs of becoming the pick that everyone hopes he will one day become. And if you agree with me, disagree with me, whatever I've missed, let me know down in the comments, guys. You will be entered into the draw to win a hoodie once this video hits 200 likes from myself, Liam Jenkins. You can follow me on Twitter at Liam Jenkins PSN. I'll see you soon.